When you look at the, it used to be the four um, C's of uh, education, collaboration, critical thinking, creativity and communication. We're now really looking at the six. We're looking at citizenship and we're also adding connectivity. So we're looking at those skills. And I think what we're doing here as an Aidens with the way we're integrating our technology is very much incorporating those skills. And these skills are for the future. These are what our students will need when they leave school, go to university and look for their jobs. We try to embed design and digital technologies authentically within all our subjects. For example, yesterday, the girls were working on a Charlotte's Web task where they had to create some sort of a, uh, a device that could be attached to Charlotte's babies uh, that would allow them to land safely if they fell from that web. They used a number of sites on their laptops to research what are parachutes. They took notes watching videos. Once they had investigated, they could then bring that um, knowledge across as they started to design their piece. They used the materials that were around them, think about the properties of those materials, and really try to come up with a piece that would um, solve that problem. It's about the engagement the excitement and the interest it stimulates within our students. we got so many things happening for our girls at this school. We have three that I'm particularly keen on is our Code and Robotics Club at lunch times, where the students from grade one to grade six come along and they experience, play, discover with all the different robots that we have, including the drones. Another activity we have after school is called STEMIS and we address things. So the girls are building and making things. Once a term, we have a club called TechMate and TechMate is when the girls can invite a significant male in their lives. Now this is so that the, the male in their life understands that technology is not just for males. Our girls are really very strong in this area. Many of our students, when they first are challenged with a design task, are a little bit unsure about their ideas, about how valid those ideas might be. But often, once they've had the chance to develop those ideas and get them out into the world, I think they get a lot more confidence that they have something that they can contribute um, to a preferred future. We run the Tech Girls competition, which is part of an Australia-wide competition run by the Tech Girls Network. And that is a fantastic opportunity for students to develop the skills to design an app and a business plan and a pitch video for a, an app that solves a real world problem. And we've had the opportunity to take students to Silicon Valley and they've pitched their ideas at Google and Facebook. We've had the opportunity for our girls to compete at the International Space Design Competition at the Kennedy Space Centre and on a couple of occasions we've won that competition as well. So cross-curricular is a mix of art, science and engineering. There is a large focus on the built environment and architecture in general. So we bring in design, we bring in maths and science into that to combine it into a very engaging program. And then they are able to take these skills and apply them in new situations. So in terms of scale drawings, they're taking what they've learned in maths, in science, they're taking the physical science aspect of it and applying it to the structures that they're building. These days, being able to think critically and creatively is so important in any career going forward. We're really encouraging girls to take up careers in technology uh, with a future that we rely more on technology, we understand how vital it is that we have diversity in the people that are creating that technology.